Hey dolls, what's up? It's your girl Miss Quiet. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Miss Quiet, and you can make yourself at home, okay? There are drinks in my fridge. Go put your coats on my bed. Get comfortable because today I'm gonna be talking about the five worst cheap clothing stores that you could possibly waste your money on in 2020. Okay, so just keep your coin. Let me just tell you real fast why, and let's get started. a couple things first things first make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Miss Quiet if you don't know who I am get comfortable check out my channel because if you're buying on a budget this is your new safe place so it is my job to tell you guys where to find all the cheapest clothes possible online in 2020 and that is what I do so go check it out if you want cheap anything I would start with my channel and also make sure you give me a big thumbs up and subscribe because it helps me help you make sure you tune in every day because I basically upload every single day unless I just really am out of it okay so yes Let's just jump right into this video. Today I'm gonna to start with the least worst cheap clothing store that you could buy your clothing from. And then I'm gonna work my way down to the worst, in my opinion, okay? So, the first store I'm gonna be talking about today is H&M. H&M kind of passes myself off as quality, but there is a huge difference between their basics, which are really cheap, and their like $50 clothes. Like I have a dress from H&M that was like $50, and it's nice, it's holding up great. And I also had a, a fur coat. Somebody I knew has that coat, and I just I don't think I'm getting it back, it doesn't really matter. But that coat was great quality as well, it was like nice quality. But then also like when you get their tank tops and stuff, like their $8 clothes and their camisoles and their basics, girl, let me tell you, garbage, 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 garbage. Falls apart as fast as it can, just weak. It's like paper thin, it's just not worth your money. Even if it's $1.99, I would save that $1.99. I mean, oh no, I do like a bargain, but um, I'm just gonna tell you right now, it's not quality. I don't have that much bad to say about H&M, that's why it's not the worst. But I'm gonna tell you that their stuff isn't really quality, it's not really worth the money, unless it's really, really cheap. Like I wouldn't even, I would not go over $8, spending $8 at H&M. If you really like something expensive, then yeah, cause like I said, the expensive stuff is higher quality. That's the fifth worst storm. The fourth, worst store is Urban Outfitters. This is because Urban Outfitters is a huge scam. First of all, no offense, but Urban Outfitters is just like, it's very basic, and I feel like fashion is an express individuality. You shouldn't see fashion as a reason to fit in. It should be the standout. And there's no reason why that stuff should be priced as high as it is. Like, the clothing that you're getting is not quality for the price. If you're gonna pay $98 for a shirt or a dress, it should be a nice freaking dress. In my channel, you can find some really nice dresses for $98. Do not spend that kind of money at, at Urban Outfitters. It's not worth it, guys. Like, the inflation there is ridiculous. Like, nothing there should be more than $30 to $40. I'm sorry. It shouldn't be. It really shouldn't be. Like, it's just a scam. Not a fan of Urban Outfitters at all. They will never see my coin. No. I have a lot of friends who shop there and stuff, and I've just been in there enough times to see their stuff. I'm like, what is this? Like, even the clearance is stupidly overpriced. I just think that Urban Outfitters is a scam, and they just want your money. Maybe if you like something you see something there you really love, I mean, go get it if you really want it and you can't find it for cheaper. But most of that stuff you can find online for cheaper, okay? So yeah, I would I would, I would cut them out of your life. The third worst cheap store is Charlotte Russe. And Charlotte Russe is just like, I, we all know Charlotte Russe. We've all been there with her and stuff, but I've always felt like Charlotte Russe is so high priced for the sh that they give you it's not good quality at all it's not their jeans are okay actually their jeans are okay they're not high quality they're not like sturdy but they'll get the job done until you get some more money you know but they're not good this stuff isn't good at all I've had shirts from Charlotte Russe I haven't had a chance to take the tag off before they rip they don't wash well the fabric feels terrible and weak the second that you touch it you know and a lot of their stuff is kind of outdated anyway there's a reason why they went out of business I'm just saying I'm just saying because their stuff isn't quality and they were pricing it way too high like I wouldn't mind paying like six dollars from a shirt from there. They want like $20 for a t-shirt, babe. Sit down. Sit down. Know your place, Charlotte. I have a dress from Charlotte Russe. Um, I'll show you guys it. I mean, it's not high quality. I just really liked it because it was, it reminds me of Clueless. It's really not a high quality dress at all. And like, look, like this part, from the second I pulled it off the shelf, it's looked like this. You see how like, it just looks bad. Like, why does the button look like that all the time? All the time! All the time it always looks like that. You're never gonna get a garment from Charlotte Russe that doesn't have random strings hanging off of it like this one does everywhere. They all are like that. It's not quality stuff. I can only imagine how bad the warehouses look like where they make this stuff. And I'm starting to feel bad guys because I promote a lot of fast fashion and I'm just learning how bad it is for the environment but I don't know what to do now. I don't know what to do because like we're broke. We're broke and it's like we're trying to keep up with the trends like my whole like brand is fast fashion so like I'm gonna try and start to work on finding better fast fashion retailers you know like we're gonna work towards better not just the worst of the worst because a lot of these brands that we're supporting are not good brands so i don't know i don't know what we're gonna do about that we'll figure something out together though so yeah charlotte russe is the third worst store to shop at okay 
The second worst store to shop at for cheap clothes is Rue 21. Rue 21 is garbage. I think we all know that from day one. From day one, Rue 21 is garbage. And like Charlotte Russe, but even a little bit worse, such high prices for such low quality clothes, I have to laugh. I have to laugh. You want this $25 for this outdated shirt that's terrible and it has a hole on it while it's hanging on the wall? Really? You want $25 for me for that? There better be a sale because you're out of your mind. Oh, I just, no, bad. It's just not good. It's just not. They are way out of line asking the prices that they ask for. They need to know their place. Oh, that's all I have to say about these stores. I'm sorry. That's such a rude sentence to say. But it's like, you're really, you want me to pay that much for a garment? It took you less than a dollar to make. Probably like seven cents to throw that together. Probably. So really, you want me to pay you $25? That's how we make billionaires who don't care about us. That's how we do it. So I would just stay away from Rue 21. There's nothing in there that's quality. There's nothing in there that's quality. It's never worth it. Their underwear is the worst underwear I've ever felt in my life, guys. Like, terrible. The most scratchy, terrible underwear I've ever felt in my life. I don't think I have anything from Rue 21 anymore. That's when I was younger. Just don't even waste your time. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. I can only imagine how low quality their shoes are. Their shoes, like, fall right apart as soon as you wear them and stuff. Oh, back to Charlotte Russe with that. I will say I have a pair of Charlotte Russe boots. I haven't worn them, but they feel nice. I got them at Goodwill for $4, but they're not worn yet. But they look nice. The shoes are doable. They're doable. But yeah, to Route 21, though, I don't know. I mean, maybe accessories there. Maybe. I don't really. Ugh. I don't know. Route 21 is. Bleh, it's just. They feel bad for talking about companies like this, you know? But these are companies that are terrible and they exploit people anyway. So, like, what is it? What's the deal? I'm just going to be truthful. I don't like Route 21 at all. The worst store on this list today, guys, is. Akira and that's probably a shock to you guys I don't know if you've heard but I went into Akira the first time I was like mesmerized I was like Wow, like this is my new store guys the music the vibes that was just salmon songs on my snapchat Like what is this song? What is this song? People following you around like oh my god curl this would look so good on you I was like yes, honey. Oh my god. You're right a personal stylist the experience is everything and the clothes in there are stunning Absolutely stunning the clothes are trash quality um, it's all a facade it's all literally a facade guys everything i've ever gotten from akira has aged so poorly so poorly like the shoes falling apart the pants the cage turned brown broken off like the belt loops have broken off i got this beautiful one piece jumpsuit one half was white and one was black this is for my graduation party and i didn't get to wear it once right as people were arriving and i was putting it on the zipper broke so I couldn't wear that stuff. I had to wear the ugliest, stupid dress ever. I looked like a freaking, I looked bad. I looked like a cottage, I'll tell you that. I was so mad, I was so mad, guys. I have not gotten one good thing from Akira. I have not gotten one thing from Akira that's ever not fallen apart. So all I have left from Akira, because I'm done with that place. Here's a bangle, this is for my graduation open house with that one piece, and I don't know, it looks decent, I guess. It's turning red. The thing is, I haven't worn it enough for it to look so decayed. I don't feel like you can see how decayed it looks on camera, but I have not worn it enough for it to be okay that it it looks this worn it looks so worn in like get over yourself bro come on like I've had you I've worn it maybe like five times but hon honey stop give me my money's worth because Akira is expensive guys like that jumpsuit I bought was 80 freaking dollars I didn't get to wear it I really didn't get to wear it really really I wonder if I still have it maybe I could try and like fix it somehow it's just absurd it's like really I don't know it makes me mad I hate that stuff I hate it that stuff I hate when things are so expensive and they fall apart so fast but Akira will draw you in guys it's like the devil like they want to bring you in they want you to think you're having a high quality experience but that stuff didn't cost a dime for them to make and they don't care about you after you leave that store so don't let them trick you and that's why they're the worst in the store because it's the highest price and I have not had one thing not one thing from a cure that's lasted so highest price for the lowest quality really hun I, I got everything else still i still have some charlotte Russe stuff just know a cure is the worst it's the worst don't give it in i promise you you can find better quality stuff on aliexpress and wholesale sites and you can on akira so bye peace out akira and yeah that's the last one on my list today i hope this video was helpful to you if it was please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe and comment down below which one of these stores you're shocked to hear on this list if any if not then <laughs> it doesn't even matter if you're not shocked to hear these stores on this list comment down below another store that you think people should stay away from okay so we can all help each other out in the comment section and make sure that you go check out my other videos so you can find out where you should be shopping at and make sure you give me a big thumbs up and subscribe i think i already told you to do that follow me on instagram and twitter at miss quiet i'm filming three videos in one day so i did all my shout outs in that first video so there's no shout outs today you will get a shout out in whatever the next video is that wasn't filmed today when i see your name in the comments okay so much love to you dolls and i will see you soon Bye.